Monsieur, Madame, Salam Alaikum. Same to you, Mr. Ahmed. I hope it ain't gonna be that hairy chicken again. Last night I didn't sleep till after three. Shh. Mm -hmm. Salami Alley Can. Oh, that sounds just beautiful. What does it mean? The peace of the desert be with you. Only place there is any right now. Milton Cobb, are you going for my wrapper to have to sit here and freeze to death? It's in the lobby. Sure, sure, honey. Here in the heart of the desert, peace is eternal. It certainly is. But you know, it's so quiet after Chicago. My husband can't sleep nights. He's taking sleeping pills. I understand. Oh, but I just love the desert, Mr. Amen. It is like Madame herself. Its greatest beauties lie hidden, except to those who know where to search for them. That sounds fascinating. Yes, it is. I hope to be able to reveal those beauties to Madame. Perhaps tonight where the gentle breeze stirs the palms of the oasis, and Monsieur has taken his sleeping pills. Perhaps. Couldn't find it any place, honey. Your rep, madame. Jasmine, are you mad? How dare you, making love under my nose? You're jealous. I didn't know you were here. But I wasn't making love. Liar! Oh. I heard you making a rendezvous with that woman. When the gentle breeze stirs the palms, I'll stir you, I'll kill you! <laughs> yes, mean she's a rich American. Her husband takes pills. Last time it was a Dane, and her husband took schnapps. Well, I've had enough. Tomorrow, Mother and I go back to Cairo. But, Yasmin, you can't leave me now. You'll break my heart. And if Mama goes, I have no cashier. Just me. I'm doing this for you. Yes, for you. Yasmin, when the season's over, we'll be man and wife. Then the Hotel Sahara will belong to you as much as it does to me. Then you'll have to be charming to guests and make the sacrifices that I do. It's my work. <laughs> you love your work, don't you? Yes! No! Oh. Am I defend you? What the... What? Madame is like the rose when it is full blue. Oh, flattering. <laughs> <laughs> I will have satisfaction for this. Satisfaction? There is no satisfaction anywhere. What's happened? A catastrophe. Dead. Who is dead? Maybe all of us. Oh! Ashley Monsieur Dom, terrible news. The Italians have entered the war. Oh, say, I've got to put a call from Chicago, right away. It's impossible, I've telephoned the frontier lines are cut. We must evacuate the hotel immediately. The Italian army is advancing on Hotel Sahara. <laughs> Servants, no dancers. I gave up three months in vaudeville, top of the bills down from this sand bank. You pay the contract in full or I tell my union. Union? Mama, pay this hippopotamus some money. Uh, I may choke you. <laughs> Where is Yasmin? Yasmin! She Yas won't be, she won't be a moment, she's fatty. The last bus goes, please. Hmm? Oh, quick, quick, oh. or we'll all find ourselves dead with our throat cut. Could I have a cup of coffee, Mama? to change. The bus is leaving. No, no, Emat. We must stay here. But are you mad? We'll be murdered in our beds. Oh, I don't think I'll be murdered in my bed. Yasmin is right. You might be murdered, Emat, but not me, and certainly not Yasmin. 
You're both mad. I've met soldiers. They are simple men with simple tests. I'm staying too. <laughs> but they'll steal everything, burn everything, wreck everything. That is exactly why we must stay. To stop them and to save the hotel. How can we ever marry if we run away and lose everything? That sense. Use your brains. You've got a head on your shoulders. Y yes, I want to keep it there. Now, please, Yasmin, we must get out of here. It's too late, Emma Fendi. You've missed the bus. What? <laughs> Soldiers think only of three things. Loot, liquor, and love. Very well, we will bury the silver, lock the cellar, and... Why did I ever listen to you? Because you love me. And I love you. And we've got to think of the future. Oh, yes, me. I think of nothing but you, my chicken. The chicken. Soldiers are worse than locusts. They devour everything. Mama, uh, 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 Yusuf. Get the chicken into the cellar before those bandits arrive. I'm here, little one. Or I will wring your neck. Don't use such unlucky words. Well, uh, now quick, no time, no time. Everybody in the lounge. We must keep calm. Never mind about your face, Mama. Fix the menu. The plat du jour is spaghetti. Yusuf. Quick, onto the roof with this. Uh, this is no time for goats. But I can't leave poor Suleiman outside. They'll eat him. He smells. He must go, I tell you. Okay. Uh, uh, no, no. They are coming! There is no cause for alarm. We must remain quite cool. Mama, table flags. Quick, put your lives take cover. Bada quella finestra. Sì, comandante. Yasmin, where are you? Stay qui. la casa. Eh, Salom. E lei il padrone? Only Arabic, English or French. Or... You're the proprietor? Yes, general. Capitano. Oh. Alberto del Nobile. Oh. Who's in the hotel? Here, uh, the staff. <laughs> you may lower your hands. Everyone here is now subject to military law. Any communication with the enemy will be punished by death. Ooh. There is no need to be alarmed, signorina. 
And who is this? That? That's Mademoiselle Yasmin Palace, is my fiance. We're going to be married. Uh, it's her mother. Yasmin, que belle fiore. And you are as beautiful as the flower itself, signorina. The capitano is thirsty? A senzalo, perhaps, eh? If you would care to join me. Uh-huh. Yusef, Major Dumo. At your service, Capitano Effendi. Yes, he's the last. Perhaps the Capitano would care to stay for lunch before continuing on his journey. There is um, spaghetti bolognese. Ah, there magnifico. Yes, you like? Then I prepare it for you myself, you know, with and the whole thing turned in the, the and with Yes, the... if you like it that way, it's a matter of taste. But I regret the Capitano must use his own cutlery. Those thieves of waiters stole all my silver when they ran away. Padrone, a good soldier is prepared for everything. Hola, Francesco. Si, signor Capitano. This is my orderly. Show him my room. Grazie. Padrone, my instructions are to requisition this hotel and to clear it of all occupants. However, there are occasions when the duties of war must be tempered by mercy. You and your charming staff might continue in your present duties until we have brought this campaign to a triumphant conclusion. Salute. 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 <laughs> ah, there is one more thing. I like fresh milk in my coffee. Ah, that will be impossible. Padrone, to a good soldier, nothing is impossible. <laughs> Hello, Giuseppe. I've brought my own supply. This is Marietta. <laughs> Thank you for the swimming lesson, Capitano. It is a delight to teach you, Signorina. It is all a question of uh, persevering. Not always, Capitano. Call me Alberto. Alberto? What is that to sing about? Because everything is going wonderfully. Far too wonderfully. I will not have you flirting with that peacock any longer. You'll wear a yashmak. What have you been doing? He's been teaching me to swim. You swim like a fish. It's lucky that I do. What do you mean? Because it's cooler in the water. I forbid you to see him. But I'm doing this for you. For me? To save the hotel. We all have to make sacrifices. My conscience is clear. Uh, your conscience is too simple. It believes every word you say. Mm. 
So you're making sacrifices too? Uh, oh, it, it's no hardship, right? Don't be a jealous fool. Why do you think the hotel isn't burned down and ruined? Why do you think they are so pleasant and amiable? I don't care to think. I don't dare to think. All I know is that they eat my food, they pay nothing. They drink my drink, they pay nothing. And all day long, they're chasing after you. <laughs> I'm going mad. Oh, don't be mad. I can't bear to see you so unhappy. You know it's only you I love. You've got to trust me. Just me. I'm sorry. My children, my children. Oh, be patient a little while. Mm. It can't last forever. When the war's over, they'll all go home again. And the guests will come back. Danes and Dutchmen with corders and gilders. Americans with dollars and Englishmen with pounds and elegant motor cars. <laughs> Civilization. What is it, sir? Demolish frontier first. Let's take a look inside. Yes, Mavis could do with the cooler. Try and stop that confounded backfiring. It sounds like guns. I can't. She's sprung a leak and she's overheating. Brew up, sir? Yes, make it a meal. What's for lunch? As if we didn't know. Make some vegetables, vegetables stew. What do you expect? Larks, tails, and caviar? Uh, it can go easy with the water. A quarter of a pint per man. Well, only a quarter of a pint? Let me think of having a bath and a shave. It's a, it's a bit whiffy, old boy, isn't it? Mm. The trouble with you, Bins, is you've got no imagination at all. Why can we never have beans and bacon? Because there ain't no beans and bacon. Uh, go on, son. Nip up that sand and keep your eyes skinned. We're in enemy country, remember. Yes, well, where the devil are we? Oh. Um, well, I should think we're about, uh, well, anywhere about there. Well, you better get it sorted out, Puffin, my boy. We'll be out of water by tomorrow. Oh, cool. what a smell of air cream. The apple's been here, sir? No, just one of their feathered friends. Yeah, that's probably all been ass trained. Grub's up, sir. Oh, good. Yes, we'll have a little cheese to follow today, Bins. But there ain't no cheese, sir. Oh, no cheese? You know, Bins, your catering lacks the magic touch. Right, it's the spice of life, you know, Bins. Yes, just bear that in mind, will you? We'll have a little bit of cheese, Bins. Yes, sir. Right away, sir. A Major Randall and Mr. Cheney would like a nice Gorgonzola set round right away. Yeah, let's make it a right one, will you? Hello? Who are you? 240162, sir. Private Bins. Who are you? Me? I am wrong number. Well, so, so, so. What is it? Someone answered. Answered what? The telephone. For me? All right, Ben. Sit down and have your food. You've had a hard day. But, sir... You better stay in the shade, Ben. I heard it as clear as a bell, sir. Hello, he says. Hello, I says. Wrong number, he says, and hung up. Well, you better take it easy, mate. Eddie said himself could make that lot work. You know what your trouble is, Ben, don't you? It's the diet. But I tell you, it's true, sir. I put a few wires in hole, bunged in a couple of plugs, twiddle an handle, and then I tell you I heard a voice. All right, all right, Joan of Arc. Don't worry your pretty little head about it. Your dinner's getting yeah. cold. Yasmin! Yasmin! Oh, very pretty. Very beautiful. Great artist, Capitano. You think so? Convinced of it. But if I might make one suggestion. The English are here. What? Yes. I don't know where, somewhere here. They telephoned. So, Capitano? They asked for cheese. He might go and lie down and rest. I'll bring you some chamomile tea. I don't want any chamomile tea. 
I want these idiots out of here as soon as possible. That's impossible. Now, let me see the effect. There, Capitan. If they meet here, they will fight, they will destroy everything. You must get rid of them. How? I don't know. Oh, thank you, Senor Amar. That's fine. Senor Capitano, you have been here a long time. It has been most pleasant. Senor Capitano, this hotel is no good for you. It isn't the fortress. It won't help you win the war. Why don't you go and leave us in peace? Imat, what are you saying? I... My dear fellow, strategically, of course, your hotel is of no importance. But armies are like dogs who fight about a bone. One snatches it. He does not want it. But he snatches it for the fear that the other dog might get it first. Your hotel, Signor Ahmad, is a bone. My hotel is very far from being a bone. It is my livelihood. It's all I have in the world. Why don't you go and fight in the desert? Because we are like dogs. Or sons of dogs. What? Oh, oh, please, Capitano, take no notice of him. He's not well. He's rambling. Imad, go to bed. Capitano, please. Very well. But, Signor Emad, guard your tongue. <laughs> well, we must go to work, Capitano. I am dying to see how beautiful you will make me. You're feeling a bit more rational now, mate. Oh, bad enough, but I saw tell you I heard of Yes, was... you've told us, Bins. A puffin. Yeah. Do what you can for Mavis's pump. When you're ready, we'll move. Ready, right, sir. Wish I'd ever join this army. Never appreciate it. That's my trouble. You don't even believe anything I say. None of these days they believe it. It's the diet pins. That's what it is. It's the diet. Is it? Imat. Hmm? You shouldn't have talked to him like that. He might have made you a prisoner. We are all prisoners now. And we will be until we rid ourselves of them. There is a way, Emma Defendi. <gasps> no, 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 no. We want no bloodshed here. There are too many of them in any case. Resta. <laughs> What is happening? I've received fresh orders by radio. We are leaving. You hear that, Mama? They're going. No. Oh, no. Oh, but you will come back. Of course. But all good things must come to an end. Now, let's help them on their journey. And Mama, uh, you said get sandwiches for them. Does it make you so sad, Alberto? But it's quite natural. We've become such good friends. Yes, I am sorry, too. That is not all. Our armies on the coast have met with the reverse. We are withdrawing. I've had orders to destroy all structures and to make them useless to the enemy. Mm. That is war. Your hotel is a structure, is it not? The world is mad, Signor Imad. Believe me, I hate having to carry out these orders, but I'm a soldier. But what is to become of us? We will evacuate you to safety. You must make ready to leave at once. Oh, I'm sorry, Ahmad. I should have listened to you. It's all my fault. Mm. No one is to blame. We've done what we could and failed. We are hostages of fate. And the Italians. Now, don't tell Mama. We must prepare. No! You will be shot! Hello? Sir. Well, what we'll have to do is to make a square search and hope the water holds out. Sir, sir, I've done it again. It's alive, it's a skull. Hello, hello, hang on. Hello. hello. Key parlor? No parlor, only French and English. Oh, capital. I, I, I say, do you mind speaking up? Uh, the li line's not too good. I say, can't you get it better than this? Hello. I say, who are you? This is Hotel Sahara speaking. H Hotel Sahara? 
I say, what's the water situation like there? Oh, there's plenty of water. This is Kafka Oasis. Where are you? At a frontier post. Oh, the frontier post. We thought our line was cut. Uh, yes, there's plenty of water. This is a tragedy. Our hotel. <laughs> our hotel? Yes, I was going to propose we became partners and bring all my relation here after the war. Oh. I wrote to them. It will break their heart. <laughs> they will recover, no doubt. We must play for time and hope the English get here. There's no other way to save the hotel. No, I don't care about the hotel. They'll fight. You may be killed. <laughs> then there's Mama. We must take our chance. Do what we can. But what? I will keep the Capitano occupied. You must delay them. No. <laughs> Quick, leave me. <laughs> Yasmin, you must prepare. Oh. What is the trouble? Oh, Alberto, my head is splitting. Look at the, the china in. Signore, ma the car really takes no more. Look. We need everything for our new hotel in Napoli. Uh, uh. <laughs> the war won't last forever. Go up, you're lighter. Our charity is a great virtue. Giuseppe. Be careful, 160 soup plates. Go near the front where it's soft. Ah, Napoli. We'll be sure we'll be great partnership. I know everybody. I've got very good connections, you know. Very good. Have you really? Yes. Alberto, why can't we wait until nightfall? It is impossible. But it will be cooler then. And so romantic with the moon and you. I will not be afraid. It is impossible. Uh, Yasmin, you're, you must prepare yourself. You're keeping the Capitano waiting. I have prepared. Sir Capitano, il camion si è sfasciato. Ci vorrà qualche ora per ripararlo. Pazienza. Mettetevi il lavoro subito. Va bene. Fate with you, Yasmin. The truck has to be repaired. It may take hours. In that case, you will have your last dinner here with us. I will make you something really very special. What's it going to be? A big surprise. explain why it is I'm clay in those gay hands of his he's one of those dark mysteries a man I wake each morning in a glow for I adore him the devil's in his eye yet he can be sweet as an angel I love a man foolishly and yet since we met life for me has changed to a strange ecstasy for oh, you see Do Alberto. Every time I sing it. <coughs> Signor Capitano, il camion è pronto. Benissimo. Prepara la carica di dinamite. Va bene. The transport is ready. Go now and collect your things, Yasmin. We leave in 15 minutes. Play a tune, Alberto. Once again. Subito, subito. Una carica qua dentro. But you're going to blow us up now. I still have things to bring out. 
Not yet. Just when we leave. Prova di nuovo. Svelto. Fuoco! Non importa. Avanti, dentro, tutti quanti. Oh. Let me take your bags, uh, amor mio. And have a last look round, and then I have to pack in the truck. Oh, Giuseppe! There is a bottle in the cellar of champagne. Oh. Yes! How oh, dangerous to blow it up. The cork might damage somebody. Oh, wait here. And we will drink a farewell toast. Oh, Giuseppe. Yes, wait here. <laughs> Quattro! Porra! Tutta! Porca miseria! Inglés. Inglés. English. Hundreds of them. In chariot. Alarmi. Alarmi. Oh, no. No, no, Alberto, please. No fighting. Oh, you're too brave to die. Look, it's, it's all my fault. I... Dignan, fra presto, capitano. Gli inglesi si avvicinano. Che ordini? Vengo subito. Montate sulle macchine. Va bene. We're surrounded! We're surrounded! The evacuation must be carried out as planned. Get the others and take them to the cover truck. Lay flat in it and don't move until we're well clear. Good luck, Alberto. Yasmin and the others in the truck? Everything's fixed, Senor Capitano. Then why do delay? The bill service is not included. The bill? Are you mad? Get into the truck! Tutto pronto? Pronto, Capitano. Avan! Welcome to Hotel Sahara, gentlemen. Oh, thanks. Very civil of you. You the proprietor? My name's Randall, Major Randall. You had quite a job finding you. My name's Cheney, Captain Cheney. Acting, Captain. How do you do? How do you do? A glass of wine. Some champagne to speed you on your way. Oh, very good of you. Thank you very much. Uh, it's a pleasure. Yeah. You're all right on champagne? Oh, yes, I think. Please. Thank you. Astonishing uh, good luck to you. Oh. Yes, I think we're going to be very happy here. Yes, sir. Uh, happy as Sam, boys. Good evening. Ah, the young lady I spoke to on the telephone. Mademoiselle Yasmin Pallas is my fiancée, uh, Major Rendell. And I am her mother. <laughs> yeah, I'm very nice too. You must be simply exhausted after your journey. My name's Cheney. Will we always have a cup of tea at this hour, Mr. Cheney? Allow me. May I help you? Perhaps you'd care to join us. 
Sleep like a passion. Clean sheets, pillows, a mattress full of feathers. Nothing missing but the missus. Just at a bath, too. Sweet as a nut. Oh, you lovely thing. Lead me to it. I've used all the ashes, milk, so you'll have to make do with water. And don't waste your time with that Belmark chambermaid. Why not? I've tried it. to get up, Mama, darling. Oh. oh. Coming, my precious. Oh, sorry, Bill. After you. Breakfast in half an hour. Oh, thank you, Miss Yasmin. <laughs> thank you, Miss Yasmin. <laughs> Extraordinary fellows, these Italians. Must have been a brigade of barbers here. One for every day of the week. <laughs> Hair oil, too. <laughs> Ah, morning, lady. Ah, it's a wonderful lamp. It is not a lamp. It is coffee for Madame Pallas. Is it now? Here, I'll tell you what. You gonna have a quiet game of tiddlywinks, eh? I'll take the coffee into Madame. Right? Right. Oh, I get it. No taste in nothing, eh? No taste in nothing? That's my boy. Now, give this to your Uncle Charlie. <laughs> ah, number nine. <laughs> Wakey, wakey! I bought your coffee, madam. Show a leg. Oh, Monsieur Vince, you must excuse me. I hope you are broad-minded. Lady, I think of nothing else. <laughs> oh, thank you. I say, bacon and eggs, jolly good show. Oh, but I regret we have no silver. The Italians took everything when they left. Oh, disgusting. Don't worry about us. We're issued with irons. With what? Irons? Oh, that's the irons. <laughs> Jelly hot tea. Thank you. Imad, the marmalade. We have your English marmalade to follow. <laughs> marmalade, by Joe. I say, it's just like breakfasting at the Paddington Station Hotel. <laughs> that's in England, you know. England. Oh, I love England. Walking across the moors with the dogs, the wind blowing and the rain driving. <laughs> Yes, jolly useful stuff, Ray, and don't appreciate it until you get to a place like this. When were you last in England, mademoiselle? Oh, never. But you see, I take the tattler. <laughs> Morning. Mr. Shaney, how handsome you look. You think so? Sleep well? Like a top. You? Like a top. Uh, shall I pour? Oh, thank you. I'll have milk first, please. Hot fresh milk? How splendid. Mm, thanks to Marietta. Marietta? Oh, good. Oh, yeah. She was a present from the Capitano who used to be here. <laughs> he was very nice. You know something funny? He used the same perfume as you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Bill, this is a first-rate base for the wear rumble. What is it this time? Blowing out ammunition dumps or raiding convoys? Neither. You're in the diplomatic corps now, my boy, the higher strategy. I don't get it. Where there's no aces, there are Arabs. The object of the exercise will be to get pally with the sheiks and use them as a local intelligence service. I wish I'd known. I'd have had CD plates put on the vehicles. Yes, well, you'd better get Mavis's punt fixed. We'll need her. Yes, well, look, Bill. Um, I was uh, thinking of going to... Uh... Go to work elsewhere. <laughs> yes, well, I'm afraid that'll have to wait. Imshi! Imshi! I say, monsieur, what a wonderful show of vegetables you got here. The goats think so, too. You've got green fingers, old man. Pity there's no one to show them off to. Oh, except Arabs, I suppose. Many of them around here. Oh, yes, there are Arabs, you know. They come, they go. <laughs> and fold their tens, yes, I know. <laughs> do you know them well? I'm their blood brother. For me, they do anything. If there's somebody I don't like, 
Even you, Major Rendell. How does it Oh, thank you. <laughs> when did you last see him? Oh, not since before the war. We used to organize Arab feasts, you know, for the guests with music, dancing, camel racing. Well, it sounds very enjoyable. But very expensive. Well, they like money, eh? Money? What's the use of money in the desert? Goods? You would not believe some of the things I have to get for them. Oh, what sort of things? Mm, tea, sugar, cigarettes, boiled sweets, teapots, uh, red bloomers for the women, even alarm clocks. Amazing. Mm -hmm. Alarm clocks. Early rises, eh? Without goods, they will give you nothing. Amazing. You know, I'd like to meet them. Major, this is exactly the season for so doing. If you mention my name, you will be an honored guest. Yeah. They live with their flocks in the desert, only a few hundred miles away. Oh, we must pop out and have a chat with them. Yes, do that, Major. Lose no time. <laughs> you are wicked, Mr. Shaney. And those ladies in your tennis club, they sound most audacious. Oh, I wouldn't say that. Just sporty, you know. Sometimes at the club flannel dances when there's cup. Uh, cider cup, that's an English drink, you wouldn't know about that. But quite often the girls are... I know. They become beautiful. There isn't one that could hold a candle to you, Yasmin. You don't mind me calling you Yasmin. My name's Edgar. Everybody calls me a puffin. Ever since I saw you. Puffin! Mind if I have a word with you? Excuse me, Miss Yasmin. Got a pencil? Yeah. Right. Requisition for stores. QMG, HQME. T, pounds, 600. Sugar, hundredweight, three. Sweets, boiled, assorted, hundredweight, six. Cigarettes, woodbines, wild, 5,000. Caps, skull, uh, with tassels. Dozens, four. Pots, tea, enamel, 20. Bloomers, red. Ladies, winter weight. Pairs, dozens, two. Clocks, alarm, luminous chromium, dozens, four. Got that? Well, yes, I. Right, I'll sign it. Is Mavis serviceable? Uh, yes. Good. You can leave her here. Take the truck and one man, make your way back to base, and get HQ cracking on the shopping list. And get the stuff back here as quick as you can. I'm giving a party. Yes, well, it's going to take the deuce of a time, isn't it, Bill? Early one morning, <laughs> just as the sun was shining. Oh, don't worry, I shall have plenty to do. Observation jobs, reconnaissance, night patrols. Well, it's plenty to keep an eye on, you know. Yes, when I look, Bill, I keep... Oh, by the way, you can add something to that list. Nylons, pairs, dozens, one, and charge them up to me. Pleasant, Jenny. Right. So I uh, drove the truck over the top of this dune, and there I was face to face with two enemy armoured cars. No. Yes, but before they got a chance to think, I let them have it. Bang, bang, one caught fire. Bang, 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 the other one turned tail. No. Yes, I'm telling you. Oh. And there I was on my way to Cairo to collect me medals, and all of a sudden, over the top of another dune, comes a Mark III tank with all his guns trained on yours truly. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I did? Yeah, you woke up. Ain't you got any letters to write, Corporal? I finished the layout for that chicken run, madame. If you care to come outside. Oh, why don't you go away? Madame and me's busy. Uh, Corporal Puller. Oh, I want to volunteer to go back to base with me. Uh, ben, you'll do. Get your kit back. Yes, sir, but I was just... Uh... Come on now, Ben. Hurry up. <sighs> I don't know. Every time you get a cushy billy, they come. Go on, hit the battle, Errol Flynn. You've got another war to win. <laughs> Early one morning, just as the sun was shining. Who are they for? Puffin. What is Puffin? Mr. Shaney. He's going to teach me how to flannel dance. <laughs> You're wrong. There's going to be no more flannel. They're leaving. Leaving? Yes, they're going. To look for the Arabs. Maybe months and months. Oh, 
I felt I couldn't go without saying goodbye. You're not going already. But you've only just arrived. C'est la guerre. Oh, it's terrible. I must pick some fruit for your journey. Well, you are very wise to travel while it is daylight. It's so easy to get lost at night. I could get lost anywhere. Uh, excuse me. I will personally put these things in your truck, Mr. Cheney, with some wine. <laughs> Thank you so much. Well, it's goodbye, Yasmin. But I shall be back. That's what the Capitano said, too. Yes, well, I'm not worried about him. Uh, no, it's the skipper, Major Randall. A wonderful chap, uh, born leader of men and all that, but uh, well, when I'm away... He's not going? Uh, no, uh, that's what I'm trying to get at. He'll be here alone with you. And I'm very fond of him, Yasmin, but... Uh, well, you see, a chap of his age. And he ought to be on a desk job in Cairo. He's frightfully susceptible. Puffin, you're jealous. Not at all. It's just that I don't want the old boy to go making a fool of himself. You really think he's dangerous? No, of course I don't. He's been over quite a bit of grass in his time. Yes, there was a girl in Cairo. I don't think I should tell you about her. But don't let's talk about him. Yasmin, promise me that you won't forget me. I'll never forget you, Puffin. Coming. I'd like to bring you something back. Something you remember me by. Oh, please, Puffin. Nylons, size nine. Nylons. For the journey. Thanks, Val. Yes. Uh, Yusuf, get the Major his hat. What's the hurry, Major? No, no, I'm not going. <laughs> what? Bye. Let's go, Bins. What's for lunch? Good. <laughs> Yusuf! Now, come on, me lucky lads. If you don't speculate, you don't accumulate. The more you put down, the more you picks up. Red. You come in rags, you go away in motor cars. <laughs> up she comes, and the colour's black. Oh, that's a cup of tea for the old man. Sorry, Tosh. Well, you can't win every time, you know. Have another go. Hey, cop. Vehicle approaching. How's all theirs? Can't see, man. It's in a cloud of dust. Hang on, I'll tell the Major. You know, it's rare to meet a girl who appreciates these things. I've been thinking about you quite a deal lately, Mademoiselle. Ooh. Oh. I didn't find vehicle approaching, sir. Oh, uh, uh, right. Uh, General, stand to. Get back to your post and cover the entrance. Uh, uh, oh. uh, you better pop down to the cellar, my dear. But there, there, there'll be no fighting, <laughs> Major. Oh, no, I promise. Welcome home. Am I glad to see you, sir? Oh, where's my sunken bath? Run into any trouble? Nothing much. Skipped down one night with the Highland Division, or thought we did. Slept like babies. Turned out at first light that we joined the Africa Corps. We started early that morning. Did you get the stuff through? Huh? Yes, the old quarter bloke thought I was sand happy when he read it, but I got it in the end. <laughs> Good. Well, you go and clean up. When you feel like it, we'll have a natter. Right. Uh, by the way, did you manage my little commission? Sorry, Bill. I tried everywhere, but there wasn't a single pair of nylons left in Cairo. Uh, but I managed to get some others there. Oh, good. Yes, yeah, some smashing pairs of Lyle thread, flesh-coloured. Uh, they say the Arab ladies prefer them, anyway. Hmm. I'll see you later. Statesmanship, Bins. Statesmanship. Puffin! And to think I've been hiding from you. Oh, how wonderful to see you back. Yes, miss. I've thought of nothing else but you all the time I've been away. I don't believe you. You've been to Cairo. I can prove it. Oh! 
Puffin, you're wonderful. Wonderful. Oh. <laughs> so sorry. It's a bit dusty out there, you know. Ah, I say, old man. I want to have a word with you. Now, I know you want to see the back of us. To help the Major on his way would be a pleasure. Splendid. Now, I tell you what I want you to do. I want you to go to these Arab friends of yours with token gifts from me and arrange a conference. No. Oh, well, then I'm afraid we'll just have to stick around and hope they turn up. <laughs> oh, look at the beautiful present Puffin has given me. So you have come back with token gifts, have you? Major, if I arrange this conference, do you promise to go, all of you, for good? But definitely. Very well. You win. Well done. Then you set off at first light. Oh, by the way, uh, Mr. Cheney will be going with you. <laughs> Sandbags in the desert. It's like your English calls to Newcastle, Mr. Cheney. Well, I don't know she was with armor-plated underpants, you know. In case of mines, chum. Puff. Come on, Bins. Put the lucky dip in. Mines? Right, you are, sir. Now, come on, Santa Claus. Only 50 shopping days to Christmas. You've got a nice sack of toys here. Kiss the kids for me. Cheney may be rather gauche and immature, but most reliable. Nip out, old chap, will you, and see what it is? Yeah. What's that? It's a minefield, uh, Hop in, old man, we'll skirt. Oh, it must have been a stray one. It's all right. Nothing to worry about. No? No, this won't stop us. No? It's only the wheel. We've got a spare one. Oh. I shouldn't get out. No? I tread on another. Oh! <laughs> Explain why it is I'm claiming those gay hands of his. He's one of those dark mysteries. A man I wake each morning in a glow, for I adore him. devil's in his eye, yet he can be sweet as an angel. I love a man foolishly, and yet since we met, life for me has changed to a strange Ecstasy, for you see, I love a man. Yasmin, you're like a breath of peace. It was charming of you to address for me. Will you promise me something? Well, it depends, Major. Well, it sounds silly, perhaps. But I'd like you to think of this as our song, will you? Oh, I always do, Major. Every time I sing it. Thank you. Thank you. 
<laughs> you like all the English. Sentimental. <laughs> Queer, isn't it? You know, there's something about this place, though. A sort of enchantment. No wonder these desert nomads have such quiet dignity, such matchless calm. They greet you, blood brother. Peace be with you. Hey, what do you make of that? Smashing. Uh, the great thing is to keep your legs together. What? See what I mean? Now you have a go. Like that? Not bad at all. Keep at it. Practice makes perfect enough. Approaching, sir? How many? An arm and half track with a couple of guns on it and about a dozen men. Get back. Stop the track. I'll be with you in a minute. The women's been leaving. You better come with us. No, no, no. I'm staying. I can't leave him up. Crikey, poor Puffin. Oh, all right. We'll keep undercover. Oh, I'm sorry about this. Good luck, Major. Thanks. We'll be back. Now get a move on, Doom Bear, will you? They'll be on us. Why, well, you might have the common decency to wait till we're out of the place. Now come on, ducks down the cellar. Don't you worry, we'll be back. All set? Couple of minutes, sir. Huh? Good, I'll go and get my toes. Oh, give me a booby trap, Bins. Yes, sir. Thanks. Ooh. I mean, don't you worry, will you? Get out of here as soon as you can. Warn Monsieur Matt and Mr. Cheney that the Germans are here. I'll try and intercept them, but if I can't, tell Mr. Cheney to meet me at the frontier post. You got it? I got it. Well, let's get waving, sir. Oh, and tell them Matt not to use that washroom. Sir! All right, I'll go and get my clothes. No time, sir. It's now or never. They're on us. Yes, me. Where are you? Oh, and don't forget about that washroom. Come on, Ron. All right, sir. Get cracking. Los, 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 macht schon. Leutnant von Heidecke, your name? Yasmin Palas. What do you do here? This is our hotel. I'm a member of the staff. Then in future you will attend to your duties in a more fitting and modest costume. Sie bleiben als Posten hier. Jawohl. 
Who are you? Yusef, Major Domo. Captain Effendi. Where's the proprietor? He visits friends, Effendi. Only one, two days camel ride, I will go for him. No one shall leave the hotel. Who's in charge during his absence? I am Herr Leutnant. Then pay attention. This hotel is requisitioned. It will be run on strictly military lines. But in accordance with the laws of humanitarian warfare, I shall not evict you. Thank you, Herr Leutnant. My men are disciplined soldiers. They will cause no trouble. As for myself, my wants are simple. They will be attended to, Herr Leutnant. Thank you. I see a welcome has been prepared. One minor change and I shall be satisfied. Hartmann, meine Seife und Handtuch. You wash, Effendi? What? Yes. Very nice bathroom upstairs, very sweet, very clean. I have work to do. I shall bath later. Upstairs, Effendi. Water no good here. No hot. I prefer cold. Hartmann. Traps! Search the place everywhere! Everyone is under house arrest! Oh, Gesundheit! You... <laughs> Hansel, arbeiten sich. An Leuten verständigen. Arbeiten sich der Leute. Viele sind sie bewaffnet? Ungefähr ein Dutzend auf Kamel. Coffee, Leutnant Effendi. The Arabs in this part of the desert, are they friendly? Very friendly. Only cut Christian throats. There's a small party of some approaching this hotel. Well, that will be Emma Defendi with a frenzy visit. I told you. Die Posten sollen sich bereit halten und Deckung nehmen. Jawohl, Herr Leutnant. Oh, please, Leutnant Effendi, no shooting. They're all friends. There will be no shooting unless it's necessary. You serve my coffee. Hey, Franz, we have a hotel in Deckung Day. It's schlaf, ich geh mit mit ihm. Los, los, komm schon. There's no place like home. Tell them to settle down while I get a major. Yes. Yasmin! Yasmin! Where is everyone? When the cat's away, the mice, they play. But still, it's early. It's very early. What happened? Where's the Major? The Major is waiting for you at the frontier post. The Germans are here. Tell him there's been some mistake. Matrafus, matrafus, hazel galat. We must hide quick in the cellar. What is here, Louis? Your name is Emet. Oh, yes. These are my friends. They came to see the place. And um, now they have seen it, and uh, they're going away again. Why are you in such a hurry, huh? Perhaps you didn't expect to find me here. <laughs> uh, but why don't you answer? Ah, there you are at last. Good morning, Herr Leutnant. Good morning. I trust you slept well. Thank you. I thought you were never coming back. He has fallen into these lazy English ways, Herr Leutnant. They are a very bad influence. Now, the goats are all ready. The goats? They are? Eight males, four females, nine kids, 21 in all. Every year at this time, our Arab friends come to renew their flocks, Herr Leutnant. Goats are very important to them, yeah. food and drink. Imat, take the sheiks to see them now. 
who show the goat to my friend, Herr Leutnant. You will excuse me, Herr Leutnant, but I have so much to do in the kitchen. Certainly, uh, dear. Haitio Ashra Lakum Kola Shai. Aywa. Yalavina Gama. Haga Hariba. Oh, a sending a meagre. Hammond, one moment. Those Arabs, who are they? Oh, sheikhs, important men. Are there many followers? Very ferocious. Good. You know, Machiavelli once said, it is wiser and cheaper to win the friendship of the conquered than to put them to fire and sword. I agree. I agree. Good. Then they will stay. No one will leave. Oh, but they can't do that. They have their responsibilities. They must go back. They must go back to their camels, their donkeys, their goats, to their wives. But I'll entertain them first. I'll feast them royally tonight. Fatal. Fatal, fatal. What is it? The eyeball. Tell him I never touch it. But you must. Shukran is Shaker Arab. You must. It's a mark of his favor. He won't betray you. He's on your side. <laughs> You are having a marvelous success, Herr Leutnant. The Sheikhs think that you are a great man. They do? Uh, after the feast, I'm going to talk to them, one by one. No, no, they, they don't like being separated. I have certain questions to ask, which I think they would prefer to answer alone. Serve the coffee, will you? Very well, Herr Leutnant. <laughs> it is like you, my liebling. Yes, but it's full of peeps, Gunther. Ah, but it is plump <laughs> and sweet. <laughs> oh, uh, Feldwebel, the Leutnant wants his indigestion powder. Ah, was. We must get that idiot of an Englishman out of here. Oh, now what has happened? The Leutnant sing them one by one. Chain is bound to give himself away. Then the fat will be in the fire. Yes. And I know whose fat it will be. Go back. Keep them apart at all costs. <laughs> I will think of something. I'm sure you will. Hurry, my darling. <laughs> Fatima, did she take everything? No. She left her basket. Oh, thank you. Congratulations, I am it. You've done very well. By the way, there's one sheik you have not introduced me to. Bring him to me. No, there. Musica! It would be impolite while the music is playing. Oh, yes, 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 of course, yes. Thank you. I like to be correct. Later. Go. You must get out of here. The Leutnant suspects you. Why? I don't know. I must speak to the Sheik first. Impossible.
comes after me. Sons of fortune. He who does not tempt fate shall never accumulate riches. Ye arrive barefooted and apart on camels. Who will stake a trifle on the propitious diamond? Or on the beloved and ancient Sergeant Major? <laughs> He says that in the desert, water is thicker than blood and far less plentiful. What does he mean? He means there's nothing doing while the Leutnant holds the oasis. Mm, tell him not to worry about that. We'll be back. Oh, please, not again. Be seeing you. Good luck. Oh, oh, please. What's the matter? Please. Bill. Thanks a lot. And give my love to Yasmin. Is this the best you can do? Well, you've got to wear something, so you can always have a change. We've got plenty of them in the truck. A bit on the bright side, aren't they? Well, you camouflage them a bit, couldn't you? Mm, come inside. Hey, cop! Here comes Mr. Cheney on a camel! <laughs> oh, blimey, Mr. Cheney. You can't date him. Where's Mavis? The old girl packed it in. Hi, Longford. Get a hold of the brute, will you? What's the news, Mr. Cheney? I'll tell you later. I'm parched. Must have been that eyeball. Whose eyeball? Mine. The one I had. Where's the Major? Ah, good work, Puffin. How'd you make out? It's no go, sir. The Sheiks want to play ball, but they're helpless as long as the Jerrys hold the Oasis. Ah. Then it looks like reinforcements and a refit. We'll move back to base in half an hour. Uh, hello, Bins. You been playing netball? I've been framed, sir. Yeah, and so you ought to be. And mounted. And don't take any notice, Bins. He's jealous. They're very becoming. Thank you, sir. No. No, I will have no more goats. Suleiman. Suleiman, you are divorced. <laughs> Explain why it's so, but she has my heart that I know. She's one of those dark mysteries. Oh, what a beautiful song! Leaping. When you hear it, I want you should always think of it as our song. Of course, I will, Alfie. Alfie, my name is Gunther. Oh, si, si, Signor Gunther. Well, now, are you ready for our little game? Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> After all, even for a soldier, there must be some relaxation. I've been looking forward to it very much. Of course, you must promise me to lose. On occasions, it's even more difficult to lose than to win. Even generals sometimes fight battles they find impossible to lose. You like being a soldier? No. <laughs> Not until I came to Africa, but the desert. Oh, I fell in love with the desert. Hmm. Like the English major. Sentimental. No, just practical. Check. You're not very gallant, Herr Leutnant. If you can't lose a game to a woman, you'll never lose your heart. You're wrong. I have lost my heart. Yes, Herr Leutnant? Yes. She is very beautiful, Yasmin. She was a mysterious Eastern dancer at an Arab feast. And this is Meta, my friend. 
<lacht> Herr Leutnant, Herr Leutnant, kommen Sie bitte rauf. Uh, excuse me, please. Next time you will win. Was ist los? Ich weiß nicht recht, Herr Leutnant. Wo? Da drüben, die Staubwolken. Zum Abrücken fertig machen. Tempo, Tempo! Kommen Sie mit. Alles fertig machen. Schnell, schnell, schnell. Schnell, Wasser, wir sind Dalli. Hat er doch Hosen oben liegen lassen. Ah. Los, los, Tempo, Tempo! Ah. What's happening? I don't know. Gunter suddenly jumped up and just left me. Without a word. Hey, Matt. The bill. Hartmann, mein Stempel. Yeah. Everything is in order. Hartmann. Herr Leutnant is leaving? Yes. A large column is approaching from the south. I propose to withdraw to the desert where I can maneuver and enjoy greater freedom of action. Well, who are they? I don't know. That's why I'm withdrawing. Ladies, I should take cover. Uh, Herr Emmett, one word. You will not use my bathroom while I'm away, you understand? I'm afraid I do. Goodbye, Herr Leutnant. Take care of yourself. Goodbye, Gnese Fine. The moment of danger for me has passed. I kiss your hand. Madame. Yasmin! Yasmin! Who can they be this time? No, no, no! no. Bien sûr. They're French. Nous venons de l'Arcade et nous allons vers la bataille finale au nord. Well, they're going to the last battle. The war's nearly over. Ah, vive l'amour. <coughs> Mama. Mama. Uh, my hero. <coughs> <coughs> Jasmine, Mama, get wine, ah, get fruit, amour. get everything. Nothing can be too good. No sacrifice. <coughs> too great. Mama. <coughs> Oh, Yusuf, see to these honored guests. And, oh, Yusuf, best bottle. The war is ending at last! Can't tell. Rum lot, whoever they are. Comment vous appelez-vous, mademoiselle? You may call me Yasmin. Yasmin. <laughs> and your name? How oh, you brave Frenchman! How happy, how gay you have made me! Like Cleopatra, who once enchanted Antony in these same desert wastes. And you are bewitching. A creature of infinite variety. Yes, I'm beginning to realize that. Sir, sir, here comes the old tree. Just what we need. Richtig? Danke. Sobald ich erkundet habe, schieße ich eine Leuchtkugel ab. Jawohl, Herr Leutnant. Los, ihr Ziegen. Alle Ziegen mir nach. Glückliche Reise. 
I still don't see why I've got to be the woman. You'll see in a minute. Oh, I think you look very pretty, sir. You walk behind. Oh, yes. Thanks for the tip. They make their wives walk in front now in case of mines. Go on, veil your face and try and look respectable. As soon as I've finished reconnoitering the hotel, if the coast's clear, I'll send up a flare. OK, sir. Well, go on, Mr. Chaney, waggle your hips. Walk all sinuous like. <laughs> Allons, mes enfants, en route. Allez, 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 dépêchons-nous. Say goodbye, soldier boy. I'll be thinking about you. I'll be lonely without you. I'll have nothing to do, nowhere to go, no one to make my heart beat. Bon voyage, soldier boy, what's the good of delaying? Tell a trumpet to blow, why don't you go? Why does it make me feel this way? To say... moment we're parted I'm right back where I started I've got no one to kiss no one to love no one to thrill me no, no, no and so adieu uh, Must you leave already, mon lieutenant? Il n'y a pas temps à perdre This is a war of movement You astonish me Ah! The bill. No, you are my guest. The most welcome guest I've ever had. Ah, mille merci. Emile, baiser. Allons, à la fin. Mais qu'est-ce que vous faites, c'est ridicule, ça. Allez. about you I'll have nothing to do nowhere to go no one to thrill me no 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 and so adieu bon chance goodbye look everything is as it was beautiful and peaceful and I owe it all to you, Yasmin. Oh, Imad, <laughs> Giuseppe, Alfie, Gunther, they were very sweet. I shall miss them. Mama, before you know it, we shall have guests here again. <laughs> You're right. Let's get to work. Set everything in order. Mama, to the kitchen. Yosef, to the cellar. And you, my darling, <laughs> to the lounge. Where the blazes have they got to? Let's make a circuit. Come on, Salome. Oh, Imshi, Imshi! 
Oh, no, no. Who were they? Finch. Have they all gone? Yes, they've gone at your back. Yes. Let's go inside. You wait here. I'm going to have a recce inside. Oh, poor Gente. He loved sausage. <gasps> It's all right, it's only me. Oh! <laughs> I'll be seeing you in all the old familiar... Did anyone use my bathroom? No, no, they were in a hurry. Pity it would have sped them on their way. Come up to the roof with me. <laughs> well, it is nice to be back. Oh, oh by the way, I, I left my bottle of medicine somewhere. Oh, I kept it for you. It's in the bar. Oh, good. Remember, I left it in the lieutenant's bed, in your bedroom. <laughs> Good. I need a drop. I'll get it on the way back. Don't worry, my men will soon be back. Tell me, did I leave my toothbrush in here? No, a pair of suspenders I found. He's back. I know. What do you mean, you know? He came through the kitchen. He came through the garden with the goats. Who? The Major? No, the Lieutenant. <gasps> they must be kept apart. Surprise! The prodigal returns. What now? I'll explain you later. What? Fran Yasmin, you are surprised to see me here, huh? Herr Leutnant, there are no surprises left for us. The bathroom. Stand by for an announcement. Here is a special communique from the Cairo spokesman. With the exception of the coastal areas, hostilities everywhere in North Africa have ceased. This time they've really gone for good. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry I made you jealous. No. It was the Englishman, the Major. It was he that I was really afraid of. How could you ever think there was anyone but you? Of course, the Capitano was rather nice. <laughs> Say, hello there. Is anybody home? <laughs> 